So we're off. I keep saying so all the time to injury stuff. We are off. We're going to collect the new one. In 200 yards, slide right onto Rochdale Road. In Mrs. S's car. And we'll be there in about an hour. So here she is. So happy. This is the base vehicle before we start converting it. Bought it, had a horrendous time with the insurance, trying to get them to bloody give us some insurance. It's forcing me to listen again to everything that I'd read through on the website. Next trick is, can we get it down Jerry Lane? Sorry? The smell in here is pretty disgusting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, but then once we've got this aluminium sheeting up, and then we've got the buttons lifted, we can get the real scrubbing done then, can't we? I was thinking pressure washer. Can yeah, I think you're washer? probably Let's right. Wrap this in plastic. Yeah, we'll put a tarp up or something. Or we can put the bulkhead back in and then top it off and then pressure wash the back out. I'll have another go with the Dremel, darling. Just think, soon, once we've got it all done, we can do yoga in here as well. There's not much space for yoga. Well, put the awning up and then do yoga under the awning somewhere really pretty at the beach. I'm not going to say why you're wearing them to be kneeling in the back of the van because that would be an awful thing to say. I'm sure they'll wash. I think they'll wash. I've got something in the back of my throat. I think I'm going to be good. Hello, Mrs. So it's finally free! Woohoo! Pull it, yeah, yeah. Yay! Free ish. Free ish. Massive sheet of some kind of metal. It's really heavy. It's probably steel if it's really heavy. I'm gonna have a go with a magnet on it in a second. I should probably help my wife rather than watching her putting her back out. Oh, ribbed for our pleasure. <laughs> Yes, I am a weirdo. <laughs> I think that's a steel sheet. This is, like I said earlier, this is why the van was so quiet <laughs> on the motorway. Blue end. Because it's had a mass, a load of massive steel sheets glued in what with five bar over the top Hydro and then with... N A W. That'll be the kind of steel it is. Yeah. If I knew... 2008? Hmm? When was the van built? 5-9? September 2009. Alright, so there's a bit of steel sheeting I've had in the workshop waiting to go in it. 
fabricators, whoever does this. And that's just chip board underneath in it. It'll go on the uh, it'll go on the fire fire pit next time we'll have a fire. I was going to say it's not going on the fire. No, no, not in the house. <laughs> right, I'll put the camera down so I can help, yeah, help you carry this. <laughs> These screws. Can't get them out. Pin, um, pin curlier. So, yeah, uh, I've tried the Impark driver. See, I can't get them out, I haven't really tried everything yet. Because they're rounded off, rusted off. I've tried the Impark driver with a bit, and all of them are around this area. I suspect this is where the wash part was. So, it's the state of that. And that so what I've been trying to do is just dremel there's a dremel gun there dremel them out um but it's quite time consuming so um and I can't hang on let's pull back there we go I can't just rip this up this whole thing I can't just rip this whole aluminium panel up because of that there, that corner there. So um, it won't clear it. It won't clear that pillar, the door pillar, and I don't want to do any damage to it. So the, the van itself, I mean. So kind of have a loose end. I think and none of my drill bits are touching it. I'll try again with the drill bit, I suppose. Try and drill it out. And I don't have a screw extraction tool. Is the problem so I'm probably just gonna have to persevere with the Dremel but yeah that's the state of play at the moment anyway my makeshift levers seem to be doing the job nicely to rip all the glue off at least anyway the glue's given up as soon as I apply any uh, pressure to it so that's good but yeah exciting times still proper stoked with this van and anyway Back to time lapse. Bolts here. Basically, can't get the floor up until this box has come off. Those bolts are bolted onto the inside. I can't see that there, but. Excuse the boy racers living. Idiot boy racers local. The uh, bolts. Oh, I came in this rain. bolted through the wheel arch to here oddly so I'm gonna put a clamp on there welding clamp uh, to try and lock that while I try and undo the bolts from the other side I suspect it'll turn unless I put I've got a bit of scaffold pipe I'm gonna to use to try and lock it in place I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand though Plan A didn't work, so what I'm going to do, sorry I'm trying to, is I'm going to put that on that side here, and then the other one will undo counterclockwise, which will put force on this side as that spins hopefully, so what we could do, we could put that there as well to try and keep it on, it's not going to do much is it, anyway let's go and have a look. Because I might be able to do this with one hand. There we go. I can feel it. Let's just hope it's taking that not off the other side. So that's off the outside. And we should be able to just do. Wunderbar! Tiny little bolt. I thought it was be much bigger than that. But now, if I can get that bolt out of there, which I'm not going to be able to do one-handed, we'll do the same on that side and then we can take this off. This should come off then. Of course, it doesn't need it, does it? Why would it? Look, look. Idiot.
to pull this off there's a wheel arch a little bit of rust there needs sorting out that's okay though it's just surface rust um but yeah look dave do 12 pair please <laughs> i think that's lush so uh, somebody some chap called dave has done 12 pair apparently oh rinsed on get inside ah inside my lovely mobile home moho as we're gonna call it donkey the moho donkey <laughs> There's Donkey there. Had it for, good God, like 18 years or something. Um, Donkey was Luther, my old dead dog, which I'll put a picture up of now, maybe some video. Donkey was Luther's favorite uh, toy. Used to go everywhere with Donkey. Used to put him in his bed and everything, carry him around. And uh, I lost him. So I, once Luther died, I put him on the um, <coughs> KTM. I stuffed him behind the windscreen of the KTM so that I could always have him with us and did a trip all around the UK last year. And Donkey as a companion and thought about Luther as I was doing it. Another fuck. And uh, I was driving back from Hebbers or somewhere on the bike with Vix and um, Donkey came flying off through Meisen Road and I thought I'd lost him and I was devastated and uh, somebody posted on some Facebook group or something that Vix, that Vix is on that um, they'd found a picture of him and Vix was like oh my god it's Donkey so they, that person left him on uh, this green electric box in my Royd and we went to see if he was still there and he was so he's been washed again through the washing machine many too many times in his life and now he's gonna be his van moho mascot so yeah donkey the moho tooth and bloody nail these aluminium flooring I look at the thickness of it man Say five mil, probably. Do you know what? I could instead of guessing, I could actually bloody find out. Could I? Let's get the micrometer. Zero. Six. So that's our five nine. Yeah, but it's monkey, so once it's cleaned up, it's about five mil, five and a half mil, five mil, something like that. Heavy, unwieldy, just a pig to get out. Still part of the fun. Second part of the aluminium floor is out now. I've just been showing you the, de the thickness of it and everything. We've got this last part. I think, I feel like touch wood, there isn't any touch wood, wooden handle. Not the actual hand, touch wood. Uh, I feel like that'll be the most difficult piece because of the shape, because of the cutout for the door pillar. Uh, yeah, so I think that's probably going to be the trickiest one. This last one I don't think will be too bad. Most of the um, stuff that we're keeping this last one down as in the box and in over the wheel arches that's been removed so we'll go around checking for uh, look screws yeah that's gonna be a pig isn't it I wonder if I can find my blacksmith and drill bits because they'll cut through these screws no bother if I can find one small enough hmm GoPro has broken my SD card with all my footage from this morning's stuff that I was doing on the van. Hopefully I've still got all the stuff from yesterday. <coughs> SD error. The reason that that's an error is because the GoPro didn't uh, unmount the SD card as it shut itself down. Even though the instructions I was following um, 
because it was having problems connecting to the GoPro app, which seems to be the only way of getting data off the GoPro, was to press and hold for eight seconds, which I did, not knowing that it's not going to uh, unmount the SD card properly. So that's knocked 128 gig SD card, which are not cheap. They're not like a fiver or whatever. So I'm very, very angry. See, it's not even going to try and mount it. No. I'm going to have to see if I can do something clever with it, with the Mac, reformat it, remount it.